Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I bring you a tutorial that you guys have asked for of a hairstyle that I created about four years ago. So I hope you like it. I'm in a really good mood and for some weird reason I am actually enjoying this isolation because I've got a lot of time to create content for you guys which I love. Also, I just want to say a big thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining the Blooming family. A lot of you probably found me through this tutorial, which was just mind blowing because I had a mini viral moment. I had about 60,000 views within a week. So that was just like, <laughs> So thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope that everybody's also staying safe during this isolation period that we have. Make sure that you look after yourself and you know, you're checking up on your family and friends. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So I've had these twists for about two weeks now. These are the twists where I showed you how I use my, um, my Ayurvedic hairspray and hair growth oil. I haven't moisturized my hair for about a week and look, it's still pretty moisturized. So that stuff is really good. If you've not jumped into it yet, don't know what you're waiting for sis. Don't know what you're waiting for. So I have gone and parted my hair. So you need to part a bit of hair here which I have done so I'm just gonna twist this away this is going to be the bun so I'm just stretching it out a bit before I moisturize it it loves to just <laughs> just hug each other and you know all that everything that we don't want it to do it does so before I moisturize I am going to spray it with my fenugreek and bay leaf spray so I'm just going to massage it in with my hands I like to massage it in so it just doesn't sit on my hair I'm going to go in with my moisturizer Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner, the Argan Oil One. No dime size around here. We go all in. Go in with more. I am then going to follow on with my hair growth oil. This is not how I usually moisturize my hair. I usually moisturize in sections. I'm only doing this because it's in between washes. If you want to see how I moisturize my hair in sections, I'm gonna put the link on the right hand side of the screen, just for reference. Also make sure you're massaging it into your edges. So I'm gonna go in with my styling gel. Cantu Mega Hold Styling Gel. This gel says it gives mega hold, but I don't actually think it does because the last time I used it, when I took my head my head down, it wasn't um, hard at all. So that's good because that's how I like my gels. I would think that a mega hold would be more of like a hold of 10. And I don't think this this is so I'm going to hold it up with this band so I'm holding my hair up and then I'm going to put the band around it so for this video I created a donut for my bun so I'm going to put a link up on the right hand side to the video so you can have a look at how I created it with tights so that it doesn't seep all the moisture out of my hair. I'm 
going to go around in sections pull each hair and then wrap it around the bun so i'm going to spray this wet and then i'm going to apply some oil around it and then i am going to tuck it under the bun so that's that one done move on to the next so do that and then fold it so hopefully create like a flower sort of effect at the end of this so hold it like so and then tuck it under so just go around and then pin your bun Okay, so now to the pompadour so I'm going to separate it into two just a tiny little section right here at the back I'm going to twist this also I have all this white stuff in my hair because of all the product build up because it's dirty hair so Everything's just going to take a lot longer to, to really get into my hair. Applying some Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. And then I'm going to follow up with my hair growth oil. So after moisturising, take a little bit from one side. Take a little bit from the other side, like so. And then, and then what we're going to do is we're going to stuff the one in the middle with some hair just to give it some structure. I'm just going to, and then fold away from my crown. So fold away from my crown towards the front of my hair. Once you've pinned it, twist the hairs that we left on both sides. So you can twist them as tight or as loosely as you want. So that's this one as well. So what we're now going to do is we're going to take them and then wrap them around that and then pin okay so that's that and then we move to the front this is the pompadour bit I'm going to start by spraying it So what I'm now going to do <laughs> is I'm going to wrap my hair around this extension. Okay, so start wrapping, wrapping it around as you would do roller sets, but not too tight, just loosely. So I use my hair at the sides to cover the hair um, to cover the extensions and then I am going to pin okay so that's all done um, and then I am going to tie it down for the night and then in the morning I shall show you what it's looking like so I'm going to tie this one on as well so this means that it's not going anywhere here's the next day and I'm just here to show you the results of my bun so this is what it looks like before I fluff out each section 
to just get some of the body back into the hair okay so this is it Okay, so I've gone and uh, fixed my pompadour. I just lay it a bit flatter and then pinned it across so that it would be closer to my face because before it was a bit lifted. So it's now a lot like I'd like it. So I'm just going to lay my edges. Nothing serious, just brush it backwards. <laughs> So it's in sync with everything else. So this is after I fluffed it. This is what it's looking like. thank you for watching let me know if this is a style that you would try if you've not subscribed yet please subscribe and see you in my next videos <laughs>